Okay, I'm gonna show you how to do the splatters for your pumpkins if you decide you want that speckled look. Um, first, you're gonna to wanna to protect your surface. I normally do this outside, um, but it's easier to record inside. So I actually have um, some plastic sheeting that's protecting my counters. Um, I'm also wearing an apron. You wanna make sure that, cause it, it will splatter paint everywhere. So just make sure that it's protected. Okay, you're gonna take, you can lay these out however you want. Um, once it's painted and you put these pieces together, that's when you're going to want to splatter paint. Um, you can lay them out however you want. It's just easier for me to just have them stacked. So first take your detail brush and then you're going to dip in your white paint. Obviously you'll just dip in your little um, cup, but I only dip the top of the brush. You don't wanna go all the way in, otherwise you're gonna get huge globs that spread everywhere. So if that happens, you can just um, wipe the paint back into your bottle or get a paper towel and just kind of clean it off on there. But just dip on the top. And I start out by kind of holding it pretty high above the pumpkins, just because I wanna be more um, conservative at first. You can always add more, but if you drop a big glob, you kind of have to um, use a baby wipe to hurry and wipe that up, or you just have to deal with it. So then you're gonna just take your finger like this, and you're just going to start gently flicking it. And I move closer as it starts to dry. I'm gonna go back and forth several times. I would rather do it several times versus have a big, huge whoops. It's totally fine if you get like a couple larger globs because you want it to look um, kind of messy. Um, that kind of adds to the fun of it, but you just don't want a huge spot. So with the white, I'm focusing more on the orange and blue pumpkins um, because with your white pumpkin it doesn't show up as much however I am not going to ignore the white pumpkin because it does add texture you are going to see it when you when you get up close you just don't see it farther away so once you're happy with that then I kind of move up towards the leaf if you can see it the leaf and stem and my pumpkin And then I'm going to move on. Oh, I'm gonna add some more, a little over here. As you can see, this gets pretty messy. Then I'm going to move on to brown. And I'm just gonna use the exact same paintbrush because it doesn't really matter. And same thing, just dip just a little bit on the top like that and then I don't do as many splatters with the brown because it obviously um, makes a larger impact right away. I just think this is such a fun, easy way to add so much customization to your piece and it really elevates the look of it. And same thing with your leaf, with the brown. You can't see a ton of the brown, but it's enough to make it, give it that textured look. As you can see, I did get some larger splatters and I love it. I like to have the different sizes. I just don't want a big, huge glob. Do a little bit more up here on the white and on the stem, because I'm not getting too many on that stem in a weird position for it. Do a little bit more with the orange. And that's it. Um, I'm gonna press pause so I can show you a closer look. A closer look at the splatters. This is what you're gonna see when you're up close. So when you're farther away, you can't not you don't notice as much, um, but up close it really adds in that personalization and, or customization, I should say. So have fun with it. Um, if you decide once it dries you want more, you can always add more. If this, if this scares you a little bit to um, add this, 
just go really light, let it dry, see how you like it, and then go back and add more.